Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. In our journey through the annals of history, let's take a turn towards theology and church history and look at arguably the greatest theologian in the Western Hemisphere. This man was famous for several things. His profound belief in the sovereignty of God, one of the most famous sermons in American church history in which he spoke of God's righteous anger at sinners, and his missionary work to the Mohican Indian tribe. Let's explore the first great American preacher, Jonathan Edwards. Edwards was born in what would become the state of Connecticut in 1703. He was an outstanding student, but the pivotal moment in his life came when he was 17 years old. Not unlike Martin Luther before him, Edwards was saved through the studying and reading of God's Word, specifically the book of 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 17, which says, To the King of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Edwards was overcome with the sovereign grace of God in the gospel, and his life was never the same. He would serve as a pastor for the remainder of his life, and not long into his pastoral ministry, he wrote his most famous sermon, a fiery and bold exploration of God's righteous anger against sinners titled, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God. While many have criticized Edwards' words as being overtly mean or hostile, his sermon paints an accurate and utterly beautiful picture of the wrath sinners deserve and simultaneously the beautiful grace that God has given to those who love him through the atonement of Jesus Christ. Edwards, along with his friend and colleague George Whitfield, was instrumental in the first great awakening in the American colonies, which was a spiritual revival of sound biblical preaching which saw thousands convert to faith in Jesus Christ. Later in life, Edwards would serve as missionary pastor to the local Stockbridge Mohican Indian tribe. He also enjoyed over 30 years of a wonderfully fruitful and loving marriage to his wife Sarah, which he described later in life as an uncommon union. He and Sarah had 11 children together. Sources also tell us that he was an avid lover of chocolate. Edwards passed away from complications after having received a vaccine and entered glory on March 22nd, 1758 at the age of 55. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.